Hi there, this is Sir Jason Alviar, and welcome back to Math Husay Math 10 Tutorial. In this episode, you will learn how to solve for the geometric means. Let's start! What is a geometric mean? The terms between any two non-consecutive terms in a geometric sequence are called geometric means. In the sequence 3, 9, 27, 81, the 9 and 27 are called geometric means. Meaning, ito yung mga terms na nasa gitna ng dalawang terms na hindi magkasunod. So, how do we solve for the geometric mean? We will still use the geometric sequence formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. In order to solve for the geometric mean, we need to solve first the common ratio, then find the geometric mean using R. Let's start. Let's have the example number 1. Insert 3 geometric means between 5 and 3,125. We know that in this problem, we have 5 terms in the given sequence. Where 5 is the first term, 3,125 is the fifth term, and n is equal to 5. To solve for the geometric means, we will use the geometric sequence formula. Now, Substituting these values, we have 3,125 equals 5 times r raised to 5 minus 1. Now, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So, we have 3,125 divided by 5 is 6, 000, uh, 625 equals r to the fourth power. In order to solve for r, we have to get the fourth root of both sides of the equation. Notice that the index of the radical is even. So, in this case, we have two values. So, R should be positive or negative 5. So, let me show you an alternative solution on how to get the common ratio. Now, you can just divide 3,125 by 5 right away. So, you'll have 625. Now, how do you get the exponent of the common ratio? Take note that you're talking about 3,125, which is the fifth term, and 5, which is the first term. So, you just subtract the position of these terms. 5 minus 1 is 4. So in this case, you can mentally solve for the common ratio right away. So getting the fourth root of both sides of the equation, so R is positive or negative 5. Again, why is it positive or negative 5? Because the index of this radical is even. Okay, now in this case, we have two sets of geometric means. So, the geometric means from this, we know that R can be positive 5 or negative 5. So, if R is 5, we multiply 5 to the first term to get the second term. So, that's 25 times 5, you'll get 125 as your third term. And to get the fourth term, you multiply 5 to 125 and you will get 625. That is, if R is positive 5. So for R equals 5, so the set of geometric means are 25, 125, and 625. Now if R is negative 5, the geometric means are negative 25, 125, and negative 625. Let's take example number two. 
If four geometric means are to be inserted between 3 and 9 to 6, what is the second geometric mean to be inserted? We know that in this problem, we have six terms in the given sequence where the first term is 3, the last term is 9 to 6, and the number of terms that we're talking about is 6 because we're inserting four geometric means between 3 and 96. So to solve for the second geometric mean to be inserted, we will use the geometric sequence formula. So substituting these values, we have 96 equals 3 times r raised to 6 minus 1. Now we have to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Now 96 divided by 3 is 32 equals r to the fifth power. Now to solve for r, we have to get the fifth root of both sides of the equation. We know that 32 can be expressed as 2 to the fifth power. So when you get the fifth root of both sides of the equation, you will have r equals 2. Note that the index of the root of the radical is odd. That's 5, right? So there exists exactly one real end root of 32. Let me show you an alternative solution on how to find the common ratio mentally. So you take 96 and divide it by 3. Then get the fifth root of both sides of the equation. Now, 96 divided by 3 is 32. Now, where did I get this 5 as the exponent of the common ratio? You are going to subtract the position of 96 and the position of the first term. So, 6 minus 1, that's 5. So, getting the fifth root of both sides of the equation, you'll have r equals 2. Now, that we know the common ratio, we will find the geometric means. Now, r is 2. So the common ratio is 2. We have to multiply it to the first term to get the second term. 2 times 3 is 6. Now from 6, you multiply 2, you get 12. From 12, you multiply 2, you get 24. And from 24, you multiply you get 48. Now, in this case, the question is, what is the second geometric mean to be inserted? Now, in this case, we have inserted the geometric means 6, 12, 24, 48. And the second geometric mean that we have inserted is 12. In this case, the second geometric mean to be inserted between 3 and 96 is 12. Take note, there's a difference when you say second geometric mean to be inserted and the second term of the geometric sequence. If you were asked what is the second geometric mean to be inserted, we know that that's 12. But if you were asked what is the second term of the geometric sequence, and that will be 6. See the difference? Let's take example number 3. Find the geometric mean between 4 and 16. In this case, we know that we are only going to insert one geometric mean between 4 and 16. So we know that the first term is 4, the third term is 16, and n is 3. Now using the geometric sequence formula, will substitute these values. Then we have 16 equals 4 times r raised to 3 minus 1. Now, dividing both sides of the equation by 4, you'll have 16 divided by 4 is 4 equals r squared. Now, getting the square root of both sides of the equation, we have r is equal to positive or negative 2. Again, we go back. 
take note that we're talking about square roots and the index of this radical is 2 and it's even. So if it's even, we have two solutions, either positive or negative. So in this case, r is equal to positive or negative 2. So and again, I'll be showing you alternative solutions on how to find the common ratio. So you take 16 and divide it by 4. Now, since we're talking about three terms only and 16 is the third term of the sequence and 4 is the first term, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So that will be your uh, exponent for your common ratio. So we know that 16 divided by 4 is 4. So getting the square root of both sides of the equation, you'll get r is equal to positive or negative 2. Actually, you can do it mentally in solving the common ratio. Now, we have the common ratio already. So it's either positive or negative 2. So to get the geometric mean, so we multiply positive or negative 2 to the first term, and that will be positive or negative 8. So for r, so for r equals 2, so the geometric mean is positive 8, and the sequence will be 4, 8, 16. Now for r equals negative 2, the sequence will be 4, negative 8, and 16. So, again, I'll be showing an alternative solution on how to find the geometric mean between two non-consecutive terms. Now, since we are only going to insert one mean, so we can just multiply 4 times 16 and get the square root of it. So, 4 times 16 is 64. Now, we have to get the square root of 64. So the geometric mean in this case is positive or negative 8. So right away, you can solve the geometric mean. That is, if the case, kapag meron ka lang isang i-insert na geometric mean between any two non-consecutive terms of the given geometric sequence. Thus, the geometric mean to be inserted between 4 and 16 is positive or negative 8. Let's have some practice. If you're done, type your answers on the comment section. If this video helps you learn math on your own, please like share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sekreto para maging mathusay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. If you want to learn more about geometric series, catch the next episode only here at Mathusay.